Today on Board Ball, hockey's back, we're back, let's go. Let's do this. Football! Ah! Hi! No! Hey! Whoa! No! No! Ooh. I want more extra cars! I was about to shot at you! I can't play this to you, guys! We're just happy! We're not good at this! No! Ah. Welcome to Barbell. My name is Ed and today we are playing Stratomatic Hockey. It's October. It's appropriate, right? I thought so too. We are using the basic rules and the 2021 card set. I don't know why these COVID seasons are kind of fascinating to me. Uh, this is the uh, 56 game season. Much like my APA baseball set is from 2020. And one of my favorite parts about having a set like this is that you can easily play a matchup that you know did not happen during that season. Today is one of those. We have the Philadelphia Flyers at the Edmonton Oilers. Let's go. Our goaltending matchup is Brian Elliott for Philadelphia and Mike Smith for Edmonton. And we already have everything shuffled. We have the first lines and top pairs out. And we're just about ready to go. The top line for Philadelphia. At center, Sean Couturier. On the left, Claude Giroux. And on the right, Jakob Voracek. And the left defense is Ivan Provorov. The right defense is Justin Braun for the Oilers. First line center, Connor McDavid. I'll give you a sec just in case I blew your mind with that one. On the left side is Leon Dreisaitl, and on the right is Jesse Pugliarvi. On the left on defense is Darnell Nurse, and on the right is Tyson Berry. So, we have everything all set. So now, let's play. Opening face off. And we are underway, home, any player. Connor McDavid passes it off to Leon Dreisaitl, and that's how this game begins. Home, inside shot for any player, huh? I wonder who's gonna get that. Uh, it's probably Connor McDavid, right? Yeah, it's gonna be Connor McDavid. Seven, goalie rating. Three, save to any defensive player. And that is how this game begins. We'll give it to Voracek. Visitors outside shot for center. Nah, we're trying to we're trying to get inside. One to thirteen. Fail. Loose puck outside shot for Clojure. No, we're trying it again. And failing even worse. Home opponent defense fourteen. Shoot it. He'll just take it. Five, save on Pugliarvi. Two, left defenseman, Ivan Provorov. Passing K, inside shot for Jakob Voracek. Two, oh, oh, one to 17. And he scores. So <laughs> the Flyers first shot on goal goes in the net. And Jakob Voracek breaks the ice. one nothing Flyers. 12. Is there any player? Couturier is mean and is just going to barrel over McDavid. Outside shot for Claude Giroux. Who's going to try the move again. And succeed this time. It's now an inside shot. 7. Goalie rating. 10. Provorov, possible breakaway. Okay, somehow Justin Braun is in alone. I don't know either. <laughs> Ten. <gasps> and he scored! Let's draw an assist card for this one. Okay, any player with a seven. You. That was quick. Somehow Justin Braun gets sprung on a breakaway and he scores and it's 2-0 Flyers. Oh, and the forwards change. At center for Philadelphia, Kevin Hayes. On the left side, Joel Farabee. And on the right, Travis Konechny. Second line for Edmonton. At center, Ryan Nugent Hopkins. On the left is Dominic Cahoon. And on the right side, Kaylor Yamamoto. Face off, 2-0 Flyers. Eight, 
18. That is Konechny. Passing L. Inside shot for anybody. Ooh. And, well, that's that's going to go to Joel Farabee. Seven save on Joel Farabee. And the defense change. Okay, so the second defense pair for the Flyers. On the left side, Shane Gustis Bear. On the right side, Travis Sanheim. And for the Oilers, on the left side, Chris Russell. And on the right, Adam Larson. Nugent Hopkins has the puck. Opponent defense, 12. Yoink. And the forwards change. All right, here we go. Third line, third line. The third line for the Flyers. At center, Nolan Patrick. Left wing, James Van Riemsdyk. And on the right, Nick Obey Kubel. And for the Oilers. At center, Jujar Kara. On the left, Devin Shore. And right wing, Alex Chazon. Loose puck outside shot for opponent. That's Chazon. No. All right. Fire away. Seven. Lose to back to Van Riemsdyk. And. There's our first penalty of the game. Chazon got just got sick of dealing with James Van Riemsdyk and just punched him. And now he's in the box. All right, so I did not look this up. Who are the penalty killers? Well, those do, those the current defensemen are definitely the penalty killers. We're going to go with those two. Nugent Hopkins and Dreisaitl. All right, and for the power play unit, well, we're just going to go back to the top line and top pair. No, we're not. Okay, here's what we do. Because we can use the same defensemen for all the power plays in basic. Here's what's happening. Power play defense unit is Ivan Provorov and Shane Gostaspare. So we flip two cards over. One, two, roll the thingy. Sixteen. Eh. Gimme. Nothing. Not a thing. Nothing. If all four rated defensive players, no, 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 and no. So if three of us, four rated defensive players. LITERALLY NOTHING! Fizzler's opponent defense 14. Yoink! Last card. Draws a call! And we are starting the second period with an Oilers power play. Shots on goal in that period were 8-7 to seven in favor of the Oilers, but after one, it is 2-0 Philadelphia. All right, the action deck has been reshuffled. We're ready to go, and we're especially ready to go for this totally different start to the second period because it's starting with an Edmonton power play. We've got, all right, already got everybody set aside. 11! Okay, uh, if the right winger is a three or more, and it is, and he is, so there are two shots. First, an outsider for anybody, which is going to be uh, Leon Dreisaitl. Ten. Save on Dreisaitl. And then an inside shot for Connor McDavid. Eh, try that again. Six plus... Two. Well, I already know that. That's an eight. So, nothing. All right. And just like that, the Oilers are 0 for 1 on the power play, just like the Flyers are 0 for 1 on the power play. And we continue moving on. Line three, second pair. Line three, second pair. And now the period really begins with the Oilers trailing 2 nothing. Did not see that coming. Seven. Chris Russell. Outside shot for Jujar Kara. He'll just take it. Six. And by take it, I mean just whiff on a Nick Obey Kubel. Opponent defense 12. Yoink. Rebounds. Defensive center. If his defense rating is three or more, it is not. And there's the kitty. And Nolan Patrick has a rebound shot. 
seven whiffs on it. Do you mind? And now Devin Shore has the puck again. And oh yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. A penalty rating of D would have been takes away puck as outside only. Obey Kubel's penalty rating is B. He's in the box. One and two. Oh, the forwards are changing. Oh, that's easy enough. Second fire play unit is figured out. I've already flipped the two. Here we go. 19. There are how many four rated defensive players? Nope. 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 And no. None. Uh, two or fewer. Outside shot for any player and then an inside shot for Tyson Barry. So the outside shot is going to go to... Uh, is it going to go to Nugent Hopkins? Yes, it is. It's going to go to Nugent Hopkins. Inside shot for Nugent Hopkins. Or outside for... Goalie plus rating, eight, and he scores. Nugent Hopkins on the power play, and the Oilers are within one. One assist only, anybody with a six. You, that was easy. No, I'm gonna leave him out. First line for Philadelphia, second line for Edmonton. The goal reads Ryan Nugent Hopkins from Tyson Berry on the power play. It is now two to one, Philadelphia. change. And the forwards change. So we got second line, B first line here. Eleven. So anybody has not such shot opportunity, Connor McDavid just sort of blow Bowls him over, tries inside move, fails spectacularly, and now here, here's Kevin Hayes going the other way, and Connor McDavid takes a penalty. Dude, what are you doing? All right, second like power play opportunity for the Flyers. 19. Well, we just did that. Uh, how many four-rated people over here? Nope. Yes. Yes, but only two. Two or less, outside for anybody, and then an inside shot for Gus Despair. So first, outside for anybody. We are going to give it to... Faraby. Save on Joel Faraby. And then inside shot for Ghost Bear. 10. Whiffs on it, and that's the penalty. Takes away puck outside shot only. Eight. We know what that is. Save on Pugliarvi. Rebound. Offensive center. It's Connor McDavid. Six. Goalie rating. Six. And he scores. Any other assists? Any player with a nine. <laughs> Do you score the goal? So you... Dry sidle. You couldn't keep him off the score sheet. Connor McDavid strikes. And we're tied at two. Two two. Twenty. Uh right defenseman. Justin Braun. Opponent defense twelve. Yoink. And that is how this period ends. Shots on goal that period. 10-9 Edmonton. So giving us a total of 18-16 are the shots in favor of Edmonton. And after two, we are tied at two. All right, the ice has been cleaned, the decks have been reshuffled, and there's a slight change of the program as my uh, dice tray is currently being occupied. Third line, second pair, third line, second pair, third period, here we go. Eight. Home right defenseman. So Adam Larson gets the puck, and we are underway. Passing K. 
Yeah, not good at it. Loose to center. Nolan Patrick inside shot for anybody, which in this case is uh, actually going to be James Van Riemsdyk. Save. James Van Riemsdyk draws the call. Dang. One. Two. Okay, third power play of the game for Philadelphia. They're 0, they're 0 for 2. 1. Okay, if the left defenseman is a 2 or more, which he most definitely is. So there are four shots. First and outside for Couturier. Ooh, we, we keep going. It was one to 14, and I rolled a 19. Outside shot for Jakob Voracek. Six, whiffed on it. Outside shot for anybody, which means we're going back to Couturier. Six, save on Couturier. And the last one is an inside shot for Claude Giroux. Six. And he whips on it. Then Philadelphia is 0 for 3 on the power play. Oh. What you thinking about? You thinking about something? We have a cat delay. Yes, hi. Hi. Do you mind? I don't think he minds. Dujar Kara takes it and promptly leaves the forward change. You are in the way. Excuse me. And the defense change. change. Here we go. Top line, top line, two, two, tie. This is the sort of thing you want. Dry sidle has the puck. Passing K, you know this is going to be good. Yeah, it's inside shot for Pugliarvi. Nine. Goalie rating. Six. And he scores. Pugliarvi on a great feed from Dry sidle. And the Oilers take the lead. Assists. And he played for you. <laughs> Man. That ruled. Four. Home right defenseman. Tyson Berry. Possible breakaway. Breakaway. Left wing. If it's breakaway penetration, it's Leon Dreisaitl. So somehow, Dreisaitl's in alone. Seven. Goalie rating. Nine. And he scores two. Drysaddle gets sprung on a breakaway and cashes in, and now suddenly it's 4-2 Edmonton. Wow. <laughs> oh, this is so stupid, I love it. Uh, Vizier right defenseman. Justin Braun. Outside shot for Claude Giroux. No. Inside, succeeding. Seven, goalie rating. Nine. Save to any forward. We're going to give it to Connor David. Outside shot for the left wing. Uh, no, we're trying for the inside move again. Yeah. Succeeding. Six. Goalie rating. Three. 
save. To any defensive player. We're going to give it to Vorchek. Opponent defense 13. Yoink. Dreisaitl. Opponent defense 13. Shoot it. Or is it? <laughs> it's most definitely not. Passing L. Inside shot for anybody. Uh, that anybody, of course, is going to be Sean Couturier. Eight. That's the same with a rebound. Couturier. Bam. Rebound. Offensive left wing is yes. Save. On Clojure. Pugliarvi. Loose puck, possible breakaway. Right wing, if it's breakaway penetration rating, yeah, it is. Four check. It alone. Seven goalie rating. And seven save to either defenseman. That's another save on Voracek. And Darnell Nurse. Lose puck outside. Shot for the left wing. Yeah, no. We have to try it. And we fail, and that's the game. <laughs> and Claude Giroux just whacks Pooley RV right at the end of the game. <laughs> Opposing, def it's just an automatic penalty. <laughs>so shots on goal in that third period were 12-8 Philadelphia. So the final shot count is 28 for Philadelphia and 26 for Edmonton. Your final score, Edmonton 4, Philadelphia 2. Next time on Barball, same game, different teams. But that's going to do it for this edition of Barball. My name is Ed. If you like this video, yeah, there's stuff to click down there. You know what to do. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the bleachers.